Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ord, as we do each and every Thursday at 20 past the hour. And as you go to the front page of TFNN, folks, we get a special treat for you. Our man, Mr. Tim Ord, is going to be doing two webinars for us. We get a we two webinar series that's coming up. You're going to see this right at the front page of TFNN. The first webinar is going to be coming up on June 8th. And what that is going to be on is the broad market, the S&P. The second one is going to be on June 15th, and that's going to be on the gold market. Tim Ord, what's going on? Well, everything's uh, good on this end. So, um, anyway, let's, let's just dive right into it, if you if you don't mind. Absolutely, um, I got your charts right in front of me right. here. So, I'll start right. with the first chart. Yeah, the first chart. This is actually kind of a educational thing. This chart is the um, NY, NYSE summation index. Yes, and it goes it goes back to um, two thousand, I think. I can't get my glasses on here goes back to 2007. What I want to point out, you know, there was a big decline going into the 2008 low. And my point is, uh, for a bullish market, you, you really have to have a blowout to the downside. Yes. And get you get a lot of extremes, get, I guess, the weak hands out. And pretty much get anybody out, out of the market. Uh, then it bottoms. And that happens when the summation index, this is kind of a, there's a McCollin Oscar, then there's a summation, McCollin summation index. Okay. And the summation index is, uh, that's, I don't want to uh, get into the real big details. But anyhow, yeah, when the summation index gets below minus 700, which I marked there with blue uh, lines on the chart all the way up to the current time frame. Yes. Then, then when it gets above plus 1,000, so it has to go. To have a selling climax in the summation index has to go below 700. Then you right after that, within a month or so, you have to have a sign of strength, and that's when a reading's above plus 1,000. And that confirms a bottom in the market. Well, I want to point out in that decline of 2007 going in 2008 bottom, you had a lot of readings below minus 700 there, and I outlined that in pink. Why, why that market did not make a bottom, because it never made a bottom until the summation went back above plus 1,000. So even though uh, you had selling climaxes, it just kept selling climax. You know, it never That's awesome to reversed, know. never reversed until finally, you know, in, in uh, late 2008, you got a massive selling climax way below minus 700. Then finally, it got above plus 1,000, and that's when the bottom happened. And that's my, my point for the whole thing. You have to have a selling climax, and you have to have a sign of strength. And this is the if stuff that he'll be teaching folks, which is so cool. Yeah, that, that's so cool, Tim. Wow. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So my, my point is, getting back to the current market, uh, which we did have a selling climax. Um I didn't write down the date, but we did have a selling climax way below minus 700. Then earlier this year, we did have a buying climax of plus 1,000. Okay. So uh, what I'm saying here, this is not going to be like 2008 <clears throat> decline because we went to a selling climax to a, uh, to a sign of strength. So that's confirmed a bear, uh, bull market. Nice. So we're in a bull market now. Uh, because of that reason. Okay. So if if the market never got to plus one thousand, then uh, that would be this market going sideways could be the halfway point that it moved down. Instead, you know, this whole thing is a basing period. Yes. So uh, that's my point on that. And you know, um, Tim, these are the things that you know. You, you, it's so cool that you've been doing this so long, and you really get to understand these because it seems to me. You know, we all have, I mean, my dude, you know, the Wyckoff price and volume, which I love, you know what I mean? I know you do that yeah. too, but it's these things here that I think that people don't have, don't do, you know what I'm saying? That are so valuable right. to people.